In this video, we're looking at a different style of vector questions. We're looking at vectors in shapes. So we've got a triangle here, and we are told that A to B, the movement A to B is called A. So from A to B is called A. If you wanted to go backwards from B to A, that'd be a minus A. So A to B is called A. B to A is a minus A. And B to C is going to be called a B. And C to B would be a minus B. So we want to write down A to C. So we want to get from A to C. We can't go along this path because we don't know what it's called. So we have to take the long way around. So we're going to go to A to C by going A to B and then B to C. So A to B that's called A. B to C is called B. So A to C is A plus B. Okay, here's another question. So we've got another shape and another triangle. This time we're told M is the midpoint of AC. So M is halfway between A and C. So to start with, we're going to write down A to C in terms of A and B. So I can't go along here. I don't know what it's called. So I'm going to take the longer route. So I'm going to say A to C, again, is A to B plus B to C. So A to B first. A to B is called... So A to B is called 3A plus B. And then B to C is called B. So I've got 3A plus a B plus another B, which I can simplify to 3As and 2Bs. Okay, question two write down the vector a to m in terms of a and b. So a to m is half of a to c. a to m is half of a to c because it's the midpoint and we have worked out a to c already. So it's half of 3a plus 2b. So we could leave it like that, or we could expand the bracket. Either one of those is fine. I'm going to leave it as it is. And last question. So with this time we've got a regular hexagon. So regular hexagons are common questions for vectors because they can be split up into lots of equilateral triangles. And because they're all equilateral triangles, all these vectors are the same. So A to, A to O is going to be the same as B to C, and the same as F to E, and the same as O to D. And B to O is going to be the same as A to F, and the same as O to E, the same as C to D, and that looks good. So part one says write the vector A to B in terms of A and B. So A to B, I can't go straight along, I don't know what it's called. I'm going to go down to O and back up. So A to B is well, it's A to O plus O to B. So A to O is called an A. O to B is backwards along the B vector. So B to O is called B. So O to B must be a minus B. Part two, write down the vector C to A in terms of A and B. 
So C to A. So I'm going to go from C to A. It doesn't matter what journey you take, you could take that journey, or you could go down and then up. Either way, you should get the same answer. So you could take whatever route you like, and you should end up with the same answer. So we'll go C to A. Actually, I'll do both of these, and I'll show you you get the same answer. So following the red route, we're going to go minus A plus B minus A. So minus an A plus a B minus an A. So that's 1B minus 2 A's. The green route, we're going to go down a B. So a B plus a B. So a B minus an A minus an A. So you see we get the same answer, B minus 2 A's.